What's up, guys? I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. It's your boy, Brandon BK Kessler. Today, we're going to be talking about those big money houses, baby. You know, that $10 million and up. So this is going to be a super cool video. Um, I think I have about nine or 10 properties I'm going to show you. These are all located in Cabo San Lucas and all the way up to uh, San Jose, the Cabo Corridor. Bella, Bella, tranquila. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, guys, we're gonna jump into the computer here, and yeah, let's do this. You know, typically, uh, typically you gotta buy me a couple drinks before I let you inside my computer, but today, you're feeling you're, you're kind of lucky. All right, let's jump in here. Okay, number one here on the list is uh, Chileno Bay Residencias. So let's go ahead and open this up here. look through these photos. So typically Chileno Bay is like extremely exclusive resort. I probably should have shown the, the details first, but you know, I'm more of a picture guy myself. You know, it's kind of, it's a nice, beautiful setup like a, like a, uh, I wonder if this is pre-construction. Okay, let's look back. I, I did this wrong, guys. Okay, we're gonna start here. Four beds, uh, total square feet of 400 or 4,000 square feet. Ocean front, this is a stunning four bedroom, 4.5 bath within the gates of Chilano Bay Resort and Residence. Residence, yes. A rare ocean front location with the opportunity to join the private golf beach club at Chilano Bay. So the last one we looked on my last video you could not join with that property. But with this property, this property is a little more money, you can join. So it seems like they have different um, restrictions as to which properties allow you to join the resort or which, uh, which ones allow you to join the, uh, the private golf beach, and the beach club and so forth. So with this one, you can. So very cool. Okay, let's move along here. Now we are at St. Regis, one of my favorite new projects here in Kivira. This is a six bed, 12,400 square feet, uh, almost, almost $11 million. Let's look down here. A uh, rare opportunity to purchase a true oceanfront home with a five-star flag in Los Cabos. Uh, Move down to the general description. This is pre-construction. Again, total square feet, 12,460. AC square feet, almost 7,000 AC square feet. And again, this is in Kivira, which gives you access to all the other amenities, which at St. Regis, I don't think you're gonna need those other amenities because I'm sure that their amenities are gonna be awesome but still you do get access to everything else. You get the Kivira golf course, you're gonna get um, all the other resorts like Polo Bonito, Sunset, Monte Cristo, uh, Pacifica, the sister resorts on the Sea of Cortez side as well. You get a lot. And let's, let's open this up and look here. Wow, let's go back to that. I mean, very cool. This is gonna be extremely high end. Very modern style. I mean, that's sick. Imagine watching some football or some UFC out there with that view and a margarita. Let's go, baby. These are sick. Yes, sir. I really like these. Those, uh, renders i've seen some other ones that were not so good okay let's move along here beachfront uh, retorno del rey casa ana this is let's look on the map here this is right before palmia so basically on the corridor san jose corridor five beds uh, twelve thousand four hundred and sixty square feet and let's look down here, general description. This is completed. So this, this house is ready to go. Uh, AC square feet, almost 7,000. 
total beds, five beds, five bass, five full bass, two half bass, three carport, so three, three stalls rather. Let's look at the amenities here quickly. Barbecue, patio, pool, storage area. It's got everything. I mean, at this price, come on. Um, this is a legacy property, can only be described as the ultimate beachfront retreat with private access to a swimming cove. Well, that sounds pretty sweet. Let's open it up. Let's look at that video. I don't usually look at videos, but let's look at this video. You're probably not gonna get the sound on here the way I'm recording this, but. But looks, whoa, look at that view. That's some uh, super baller status. Let's go. Beautiful modern style. Clean, a little bit of a Mexican touch to it, but modern. I like it, yes sir. Very cool. Look at that. Love it. All right, let's move along here. The last video I made was way too long. Okay, we are here, Cabo San Lucas, eight beds, over 13,000 total square feet. Scroll down here. Uh, this is completed, $12 million total square feet, 13,000. AC square feet, 11,000, over 11,000. Total bedrooms, eight bedrooms, 10 full baths, two half baths, built in 2011. Let's look at this. Montea Casa Cabo is an architectural masterpiece perched on the cliffs of the iconic Pedregal neighborhood. The contemporary style and lavish touches complements the exquisite furnishings that raise MCC to a level of sophistication unmatched in Baja. A lot of big words for old BK there, Jesus. Not my, not my strong suit reading here, okay? I can't read though. I always get stuck on tahi, tahi. If anybody can help me with that word, it's just, I'm, every time I'm reading, it's like tahi boy went to the store. And I just, I don't understand tahi, I don't know. Okay, let's move along. Look at these photos here. Uh, crack myself up. Super modern, clean. This was built in 2011. Are you kidding me? It looks brand new. Beautiful. I love it. This is amazing. I mean, you could live in this. You could rent this out for super high-end wedding parties. I mean, you've got a lot of different options you could do with this. I mean, that's what a lot of people do with these big houses like that is they rent them out for big dollars and they, they make a killing. They can, they can get their money back very quickly. Let's move along here. I hope that this thing doesn't stop at 10 minutes. Okay, on the beach, uh, what is this? Number 11, mm, okay, here we go. Oh, sorry, let's scroll down a little bit further. This is completed, 12,500,000. Bella. <laughs> uh, AC square feet, 10,000. Uh, total square feet, 30,000. Are you kidding me? So this has a very, uh, a very big uh, property. Let's, let's look at the photos and see. Yeah. I'm gonna scroll back to that because I missed some details as well. This is cool. 
I love when the, the windows go all the way into the wall here. That's, that's when you know you got a bad, a bad ass place. I mean, that's so cool. It's like a commercial style kitchen below. Awesome. Very cool, very sleek and clean. Got its own putting green out front. That's why the property is so big. Got the pool, got the putting green. Wow, this is cool. Super clean. You see how it's got the bunk bed set up like that? That's what makes me think, you know, this probably was used for like a wedding party, something like that. I didn't even see that. That's how good I am. Are you kidding me? Let's go. This is all off the top of the head, baby. Very cool. All right, let's move along here. Villa Farallon, 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 Farallon. I don't even know what that means. Farallon. Maybe somebody can tell me what that means in the comments. That would be cool. $15 million, seven beds, 10,700 total square feet. Uh, general description, pre-construction. So this is gonna be a brand new property on the corridor. Uh, AC square feet, over 9,000, total bedroom seven, full bath seven, half bath two, year built 2022. Um, again, so this thing is probably going to be built soon. Let's look at the photos, see if these are, these are renders. So looking right over the cliff, very cool. Not bad renders, but no, these would look better. Du, du, du. Very cool. Can't tell a lot by the renders. Got only, it's only got five of them. Why, uh, why sell a $15 million house and have five renders? Why? I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay. Move along here. Villas del Mar. Uh, Yagado Siete. Okay. Let's look at the description here. This is also located on the corridor. 16,500,000. Total square feet. 30, almost 34,000 total square feet with AC square feet, 11,000, crazy. And only six beds, six baths, three and a half baths. So not a lot of bedrooms for how giant this house is. Let's look at this again here. Open her up. This, this is pre-construction, right? Let me see, yeah, pre-construction. You can see the master plan here. Very cool. I hope those windows slide all the way in. If you guys have messed up and did not slide these windows all the way in, BK is not gonna give you a star for the day. I'm sure they do. I think that's all we got here, okay. Let's move along. So, uh, Espiritu del Mar, Espiritu, Espiritu de Santo. Uh, I believe that's correct. Casa Luna Escandida. So, $19,500,000. Uh, Subtle, subtle, and subtle and sophisticated, elegant in style, Casa Luna Escondida invites you to enjoy every element of its luxurious space with four levels of sweeping views overlooking the Bay of Palmia. So it's in Palmia, one of the top, top, high, highest end areas in Cabo San Lucas. So this is completed, ready to go, 22,000 square feet almost 12,000 AC square feet. 
11, 10 bedrooms, 11 bathrooms, one half bath, built in 2015, six car stalls. Let's go. Let's open it up here. Very cool. You've got the swimming pool below the swimming pool. You've got your seating area with the fire pit. View the ocean. Sick. That's sick. Love it. Mexican style. A little bit Mexican style, but obviously like Mexican modern style. Colonial, you might say. Ooh, yes, sir. Is it? This is clean. There you go. Look at that view. Beautiful. This is, yeah, as high end as it gets, really. Absolutely amazing. So, guys, I'm also going to put a link to all these videos in here. So you can browse these yourself. So I know sometimes I move too fast, I move too slow. So that's an awesome house. Okay, so moving along, got two more to go. Uh, what is this? Villa Love and Peace. Uh, San Jose, six beds, total square feet, almost 17,000. Basically $20 million, $19,850,000. Let's look and see here. General description. Uh, this is completed. Total uh, AC square feet, 11,600. Uh, total beds, six beds, eight full baths, one half bath. Built in 2019. So relatively new, contemporary style. Scroll back up. This is luxury living on the edge like never before. Situ situated on the iconic Caleta, Palmia. So we're back in, Calme in Palmia, uh, cliffside, offering uh, privilege, privileged and dramatic, uh, dramatic Sea of Cortez views. Lo Villa Love and Peace now presents uh, one in a lifetime buying opportunity to own this, to own one of Los Cabos, Mexico's most stunning estates. Oh, that was not my best. Okay, look at this. This is very cool. Looks like a, um, almost looks like, like the Pedregal style. But this is in Palmilla. Again, Palmilla, I think most people would say it's the, one of the, the best areas. You've got Palmilla, then Carencia, as far as, far as like, highest upper level look how big that ceiling was let's go back here <laughs> it's like I don't know 30 feet 25 feet maybe bigger beautiful I also don't like when people put the bathroom photos right in the middle whatever beautiful and as you can see there's not a lot of houses available at that price typically when people have them they keep them so beautiful windows went all the way into the wall oh there we go that's where I'm going to be hanging out. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got a, uh, a playroom. Let's go. With some shuffleboard. That's awesome. Yeah, this is beautiful. All right, I think we got one left, guys. We're done here. Ooh, look at that. I love that view. Opens up all the way. Awesome. Okay, this is the last one. Let's see. Casa Estrella. Estrella. Almost $20 million. 19900000 Scroll.
scroll down. This is the most expensive one on the list here. Um, general description completed. Total square feet, 11,000. AC square feet, 8,500. Uh, six baths, one half bath. Total bedrooms, five. You're built in 2007. Ocean front, a um, little bit older, a little bit smaller than some of the others for this price range. But very cool. Wow, love that photo. Beautiful. Mexico colonial style. Very cool. Look how high the ceilings are. That's awesome. Man, I don't know which is the which is my favorite on here. If you guys got a favorite, post it in the comments, please. That'd be cool. I'd like to know which which one you guys like. If you like the colonial style, the modern style ones. Um, yeah, which one's your guys' favorite? Let me know. Also, if I mince, mispronounce my, uh, my Spanish words, let me know, too. I'm always trying to get better. Uh, let's see. Wow. That's cool. Look at that fire pit. That's cool. That's an office. That is an office. Yes, sir. Let's go. Look at that. That's cool. This is like, has its own kitchen. This might be maid's quarters or something. Very, very, very cool. Beautiful. Looks like it's a kind of, well, kind of a corner lot, I guess I would say, you would say. Absolutely stunning. Okay, let's look back down here. Uh, along the cliff edges of La Caleta Palmilla, where palms sway and waves crash below at Old Man's Surf Break, sits Ca Casa Estrella. Clearly one of the strongest statements coming from the community. With the level of Cabo Beach home, one can only en en envision the oceanfront jewels upon entering the gated entrance and descending the grand stair stairwell. You are welcome to a courtyard with a cassetting, cassetting waterfall fountain. Lanterns flank the massive entry doors that lead into the into a two-story vaulted living area, showcasing a floor-to-ceiling stone fireplace. Your eyes have already been captivated to the view and you can't wait to step beyond the, the pocket sliders into one of the best pool decks in Cabo. Well, I like it. I like it. I like it. Let's go. Anybody wants to view that, let me know. <laughs> uh, yay. Oh, beautiful. Okay, guys. Um, I'm going to jump back into this video so if you're editing this let's jump back over here cut out okay guys thanks for checking out these videos of course if um, anything you need in Cabo like always message me I can show you guys properties doesn't have to be a 20 million dollar property it can be a three hundred thousand dollar condo I'm available for anything of course if you need a good listing agent I'm an excellent listing agent as well I have a long background in marketing and um, yeah I'm I'm very good at selling the properties. I'm good at selling the properties. Um, yeah, anything else you guys need in Cabo, I can help. Again, as always, capital gains, um, car rentals, or oh, what else? Uh, I don't know. You need a new cleaning lady. You need, you need to know who can fix your air conditioning. It doesn't matter. I've got uh, the info for just about anything. What else? Yeah, please subscribe, like, all of that stuff. And yeah, you can see the channel behind me. Please subscribe to that. Um, I think that's basically it, guys. Have a, have a great day. And uh, I'm going to go back to work. Got some showings today. And yeah, that's it. Let's go.